Ellerin means joy of life in Estonian, which is where my father's from. I think it's so beautiful they have one word for that. And I'm committed to inspiring you to radiate joy through effortless style and mindset, to live a full spirited life with confidence. And now over my years in the fashion industry, I've gained a great deal of knowledge on how you dress, your mood, your mindset are interwoven. You dress to reflect the mood, you dress to boost a mood, you dress for pure escapism. Now with that in mind, I have pulled together a collection, I've designed a collection of dresses, which are destined to be wardrobe staples, forever dresses, because they're so versatile, they're so easy to wear, and you'll return to them time and time again because you know you look and feel fantastic in them. The inspiration comes from, well, the inspiration comes from a variety of things, but in terms of the shape, it comes from classic vintage silhouettes, and they're cut to flatter, thinking how much your body changes in a day, a week, a month. They're things you can wear from desk to dinner and feel completely comfortable, yet know you look chic. The materials are sustainably sourced from dead stock materials, recycled materials and upcycled materials. A lot of this comes from Europe um, because they, especially Italy, they have quite thorough and stringent processes in place um, to do this. And they're beautiful quality fabrics as well. Um, even the buttons are upcycled, so they're buttons that would be thrown away, but I have them refinished to be that lovely pale gold. So they're also made in London. I'm at a couple of factories and both are a few miles away so I can cycle and visit them whenever I like. And that ensures that, you know, they're getting a fair wage, um, their working conditions are great. Um, I mean, I've been on some factory visits in other countries in the world and you sort of, compared to what we're used to seeing, you're sort of mm, maybe at times not all that comfortable with, with the conditions of them. So what else can I tell you about the inspiration? Well, another thing that inspires me, in terms of the process, this follows on from the blog I wrote, um, the creative process for me starts with the fabric, the materials and colors. So I'll see a picture or an image or something and use colors from that to create a color palette that then can be become part of a print or I see a fabric and I think that's going to look beautiful in that. When I come up with a new dress, I do a little drawing of it, which I don't show a lot of people because I'm, I'm not that proud of my drawings. They are getting better though with practice. It's drawings a thing you need to practice on. And from there, I will cut a pattern, so paper pattern, and make the first sample myself. With that, I will then go to the factory. So they get a sample and the pattern. They make it and we make any amendments that need to be done. And from there, because it's quite interesting actually to know how I translate it, knowing the pattern and how I want it made and then how I communicate that to them. So they make a first sample. If it's all okay, it's great. They give me a costing or we have to go again and I'll have to more often than not amend a pattern and redo it. In, the background there and then sourcing all the different fabrics. So that's what goes into it in, in terms of making the dresses. Um, because I'm still quite small, I mean, I like to make just a small run of things. So there's not too many around and then that gives a chance to refresh, renew. Um, now factories like you to place quite big quantities and I'm not there yet and I don't know that I ever really want to be. So with that, I then have to Mm, beg, borrow and steal almost to make sure that they don't forget about me and get, get the dresses made. So that's a kind of summary of how the dresses go from in my head to in real life. Uh, and I enjoy every minute of it. I love the creative process. I love creative problem solving. And it's really what makes me tick. In telling this, I feel like I'm doing some sort of job interview. <laughs> Anyway, that's me sharing a little bit about Ellerin, what I do on the dress side of things. I mean, 
it stresses with a dose of wellness in there. So on the other side of the business and your mindset, did you know that how you start your day really sets you up for the day? So I try and give little bite-sized chunks of activations, meditations, thingy, things you can very easily slot into what you already do just to get you in the right frame of mind or you know, bring you in, it's mainly to bring you into the present. Our mind likes to think and wonder and tell stories about the future. I mean, and it's very good at doing that, but it doesn't really know. It just likes to tell us these things. And about 80% of what we think is not relative, relevant, relative, um, and won't make any difference to our lives. But our brains like to sort of go on these little wonders, these meanderings, and you can do little things that just help rein it back in. Uh, a bit like taking a dog for a walk. So take a dog for a walk, you let it roam around off the leash, uh, and then you call the dog back and it comes back. And that's what, I guess that's what an intention can do. You say, and you bring the mind back into the present, back to where you are physically, and yeah, that's where the power is. So I hope it's a little bit of insight into what I do and I would love to know what you'd like to know more of. Um, a bit more about what I'm doing with the dresses. I've got some new things coming or a few more activations. Actually, I was going to give you, before I go, just something, a little something to help bring you into the present. So wherever you are, just bring your hands, you can be sitting on the floor, or sitting on a chair, just bring your hands around behind you, tenting the fingers. And on the inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears. And on the exhale, slide them down the back, closing down the eyes, lightly turning up the corners of the mouth. And notice the connection of where you're sitting. Notice the connection of your fingers on the surface of the chair. And start to deepen the breath as though you're breathing into the fingers. Breath is slow, breath is deep. When you inhale, you're breathing all the way to the fingertips, filling up the body full of breath. And then with the exhale, you can sigh. Each time thinking about making that breath slower, deeper. And do this for as many breaths as you need. And taking one more big, deep breath, letting the body be full of breath and then exhaling. <sighs> Just let it all go. Slowly blinking open the eyes, ready to return to the world. Renewed, restored, revitalized. Have a beautiful day.